Hey everyone, my name is Joshua Berglund and are you struggling to make money on your content? Are you just a content creating hobbyist? Are you somebody that just sits on social media all day and interacts with people or post and hope that something happens? Are you one of those people? Are you one of those people that just love to create, but you're not making money on your content? You could give example exam after example after example of this, but the fact is this, if you're spending more than an hour on social media and you're not monetizing it in some way, you're wasting your opportunity. If you spend hours longer than an hour on social media or any form of media and you're not monetizing it, you're wasting your, your opportunity. In fact, I would suggest that anyone that spends a lot of time on any platform is wasting an opportunity because all of you should be monetizing your content in one way or another. Now, sure, there's revenue sharing uh, that's on X right now, X, Twitter, Twitter X, whatever you wanna call it. I mean, I still, I call it X because that's what it's called, but some people still call it Twitter. Uh, there's other revenue sharing options. You have YouTube's monetization, which by the way, they just lowered the qualifications to get monetized on YouTube. So there's a lot of platforms out there to be able to earn revenue, and that's great. Like you can earn money that way. Now, in, in my personal opinion, you're not making enough money. You're not getting paid for what you're worth. In fact, you're just, to me, enrolling yourself into a slave system. And, and that may be offensive to some of you, but like the record industry, when people go and try to get a record deal, this is the same same thing. It's the same exact same exact thing, except for the fact that this may be more slavery and more deceptive than it needs to be. But the fact is that a lot of you are not monetizing your your own your content. And there's people that want to monetize their content. Are you one of those people? Are you one of the people that actually want to make creating content be a business for you, a revenue stream, a career? and you're stuck. Well, I have some personal tips myself that I'm gonna give you. But first, I'm gonna tell you what Bard has to say about this. Because you know what? These are great tips, but it's not what I would advise you. And I don't know what to say about that, <laughs> to be honest with you. But Bard, as you know, is Google's AI chatbot. So I'm gonna read a couple of these. Okay, here are some key tips for people who care who are not monetizing, this literally says, here are some key tips for people who care not monetizing their content. I didn't write that. Okay, whatever. Focus on your audience and your purpose. What do you want to create? Who are you creating it for? Why do you want to create it? Once you have a clear understanding of your audience and purpose, you can start to create content that is both valuable and engaging. This is good advice. <laughs> this, I, this advice I actually really appreciate because this speaks to my heart. Don't be afraid to experiment. I, I really like this tip, Bard. <laughs> Don't be afraid to experiment. If you look over the course of my seven years or whatever of creating content, starting with Facebook Live, which you can't really find any of those videos because I've been deplatformed a few times, <laughs> but I've had so many different broadcasts. You can actually, you can check my IMDB page. I've created a lot of different shows. I haven't even registered all of them, but I've created a bunch and there's at least 10 there, at least um, my first show was Morning Gratitude with the mayor. Morning Gratitude. Morning, I, I, I've had, and then Gratitude Unfiltered, Gratitude Unfiltered AM, which was the morning version of Gratitude Unfiltered because I used to do a morning and evening show and a live experience Gratitude Unfiltered in front of a live audience. That was a lot of fun. Um, boy, that show would look a little bit different today because <laughs> I was doing that one at a church. Anyway. It was still pretty edgy, though. Oof. Um, Society of Kingdom Minds, Insights, Planet Zoom, A Conversation with Joshua T. Berglund, <laughs> Spoken Word. There's two versions of Spoken Word. 
Um, where am I at now? Oh, oh, oh. Um, conversations with Joshua T. Berglund. <laughs> so there's there's a lot. Why does it look like I thought I had black stuff in my teeth? Anyway, so I've experimented, played with different things because I have different ideas and different um, ways that I want to do something. Or maybe I feel like I'm putting myself in a box. So I want to experiment, experiment with my brand. I've built multiple platforms, not just for myself, but for other people. But for myself, I'm on my like 10th version of a website that I built myself, changed, and then I tear it down and start all over. So if I interviewed you in the past and your links are gone, that's why. I'm a fickle artist. I like to try things. I like to experiment because it allows me, when I'm working with people, to instruct them and advise them the proper way. Because I've taken advantage of every free trial on the planet. Everyone, I think. I mean, that's literally impossible. But most of them. If it has to do with websites, hosting platforms, um, podcast uh, distributors, TV networks, you name it. I I've, I've have so much experience. And, you know, getting to be a vice president of a streaming network was also very beneficial for me. Because I got to see everyone's stuff. I got to see behind the curtains on almost everything. Getting to produce events allows you access and see. You get to learn the different technologies, what's available, what's possible. Huge on immersive media. Anyway, okay. So don't be afraid to experiment. There are many different ways to create and share content. Try different platforms, formats, and styles to see what works best for you and your audience. Here's the thing. I'm going to say this, and I disagree. I disagree with this. I never, and this is probably why I'm not super famous or popular yet. Maybe ever, I don't know. And I don't care. But I, I don't create for any particular person or demographic. I create what my heart and my mind wants to create, what I feel led to create. Because I can only share what I know. I can only share from my heart. I don't, I try to avoid other people's opinions. I don't really watch other people's content. I don't even really read other people's content unless I would just want to be a, you know, be snarky or, you know, engage in conversation, or if I do find somebody that's kind of like-minded, because I have some out there beliefs, but they're my own. I don't need you to believe like me. I don't necessarily want you to. I it, I mean, I don't know about you, but the things I've seen in this world, I wish I hadn't. I wish I haven't been exposed to what I've been exposed to. But that's what I was exposed to, so that's what I'm going to talk about. I can't say... Okay, thinking of you here, that's what I want to talk about. I would much rather talk about sports and <laughs> other things that are just lighthearted. And, of course, now sports has even become something not lighthearted. But, you know, we, in, in, anyway. That said, I do want to inspire. I do want people to open their mind to different ways of thinking. I don't want to tell anyone what to believe because ultimately I'm not trying to convert anyone. That's not my goal. You know, as an evangelist, that's was, is the goal as you lead people to Jesus. But what I learned from that experience, I think there's a better way to do it. And I don't necessarily agree with what the church does. That's on me. I'm not, I'm not God, but again, getting to see behind the scenes with things, I have some very hard questions that will never get answered by any man. Like I'm waiting on God to answer them. Anyway, I, I'm getting off track here. I apologize. Um, I can get pretty passionate about this subject. But the point is, I believe that we should create, we should use our gifts and our talents to create, but then speak with our intellectual property. That's the value we get to bring. Our learning experiences are our truth. And that's what we should share because truth attracts our tribe. 
I don't believe looking at trending topics and go, okay, I'm going to talk about Hamas and Israel today. Although I have a lot of opinions about it and I have a lot to say and a lot of content I could create around it. I don't really have intellectual property that supports me talking about this because ultimately it would sound like an opinion that's just going to cause a fight. And I'm not here for any of that. Like, I don't want to fight with anybody. I want to unite people. And, and I swear that once people find out who the evil, the, the c- controllers of this world, who they are, I believe we'll unite around that because that truth is just going to strip the veil completely away and it will be impossible not to see. It'll be impossible not to see. Be consistent. I've been all over the place. I, I used to be consistent, same time, boom, 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 when I was doing live videos. And I may start doing live again, I don't know. Kind of miss doing them. I miss the interaction and miss the engagement. May start a kick channel. I don't know. Just to have live because I, I like my platform. I like what I get to do here, but kick sounds kind of cool. It's probably Mafia probably owns it, but that's another. <laughs> I don't trust anything. <laughs> and I'm all about self hosting. I'm all about self hosting. I believe in it 100%. And that's one of the monetization methods I'll probably talk about. Be yourself, right? Be consistent. The best way to build an audience is to be consistent with your content creation, set a schedule and stick to it as much as possible. This is ideal for live streamers, for content creators that, you know, do video on demand and do videos like this, do multiple broadcasts and I have my network, my platform. It's a little bit different for me because I rely primarily on SEO. But for live streamers, this is like perfect, I think. Be yourself. <laughs> Be yourself. And and look, and sometimes that's complicated. I the things that I've shared over the years, my journey recovering from, you know, the, the mental health damage and self-inflicted and not self-inflicted damage that was done. Um, you know, had some wild triggers and broadcasted when I wasn't in my right mind and, you know, but I've was truthful that day, you know, truthful. That's how I, what I believed in the moment. Um, I was being myself, even though I wasn't really myself, you know, um, I have a unique mental, mental, uh, I don't even like to call it an illness because it's a gift too, but Um, anyway, but that's me. I'm the same behind this camera that I am in person. And sometimes it's complicated. My heart, you know, always wants to do good and help and serve. And, but, you know, I'm like two seconds away from biting someone's nose off. You know, I, boy, this video just turned out to, to be something different. Anyway, the point is, is that I personally believe that you should just be your authentic self and not always have to worry about putting your best face forward. That extra polished, contained, boxed, and controlled, like what is what you see on TV, that everything is controlled and produced and show your F-ups, be imperfect, who cares? People don't remember your mess-ups. People remember how you make them feel. Be yourself. Truth will attract your tribe. And here's the other thing, too. I want to make this clear. There is no, there is no mega stars in the new world. The new world that we are in going into, whether you see it or not, there is no superstars. There is no mega celebrity like Tom Cruise anymore. Those are done. You're going to have celebrity. But the celebrity is going to be teachers, educators, thought leaders, true thought leaders. The builders, the creators, the artists, we are the new celebrity. But that doesn't look like the old celebrity. No more 
500 million fans, that kind of thing. Those days are done. But we're going to have tribes. And the leaders of those tribes will be celebrities. And the tribes are not like tribal as in <laughs> when you think of Native Americans or even Middle Eastern culture. It, I mean, well, in, in, in some way, it's the same. Um, but we're going to have our little communities. And that's how it's going to be set up. And it's kind of cool, like these, these ecosystems that are being created. It, 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 I, there's a real opportunity for all of you. And that's why this part of the business media, the content creation, so important that you get this figured out because this is the vehicle. Media is the platform that's available for everyone. But content creation, the creating, the art, that's what's going to build and help shape the new world. And you get to do it with truth. So do it being yourself. Don't worry about the numbers. This S is hard. It's hard for me, really hard for me, going from 500,000 viewers on videos to none sometimes, or 30 or 100 or 200 or even 5,000. It doesn't matter. Like it's it's hard, but that's what happens when you get deplatformed. I had all my content on other people's platforms and I can be mad. I can be pissed off at the world, but the fact is that it's their platform. They can say what they can set the rules. So if you're a rule breaker or you're somebody that has controversial thoughts and beliefs and you want to talk about them, you have to self host. The same amount of work, you can go on some other freedom platform that they talk about, right? You will do just as much work and you are still setting yourself up for the same problems by being on someone else's network, self-host. Because on someone else's platform, you need way more of an audience to monetize. On your own, you monetize with one person. Those are facts. But don't worry about the numbers. It takes time to build an audience and get traction, which is true. Probably shouldn't start over as much as I do, but I do. Because if I don't like something, I tear it down and build it back up. It's just how I operate. For better or worse, it's what I enjoy doing. Um, don't worry about Okay, I already said that. Here are some additional tips that may be specifically helpful for people who do not care This is for people who don't care about monetizing their, what the heck? Don't be afraid to give things away for free. If you're not worried about making money, you could be more generous with your content. Well, one of the best ways to get paid customers is to give something away for free. I think Bard messed up my question. Anyway, doesn't matter. I should have proofread this first, right? So that's what I get for trusting AI. Anyway, I knew I was gonna disagree with some of this anyway. But if you want to monetize your content, it does help to have free giveaways. This could mean writing long, detailed blog, blog posts, creating free ebooks or courses, or simply sharing your knowledge and or expertise on social media. This works better if you want to monetize. Give away free things of value. There's so many free giveaway websites. You can create a free PDF, a free how-to guide, any of those things. They will help you bring in paying customers. Help They will help you bring in subscribers. See, and this is another one that says if you don't care about monetizing your content. I disagree with this. Because if you care about monetizing your content, you should do this. Focus on building relationships with your audience. When you're not monetizing your content, you can focus on building relationships with your audience without having to worry about selling them something. You can do both. I disagree with this. I'm disagreeing with AI. No, who would have thought? Get to know your readers, viewers, and listeners and respond to their comments and questions. You should definitely do that. 
if you want to monetize. Collaborate with other creators. Absolutely. Absolutely. Collaboration is a great way to cross promote your content and reach new audiences. Find other creators in your niche who share your values, values and collaborate on projects together. 100% agree with this. Uh, matchmaker.fm is a great website. Matchmaker.fm is a great website. I said it twice. Um, that wasn't a skip. I said it twice. It's excellent, but there's a lot of websites like that. That is a great place to find your tribe. And another thing too, another tip for monetizing your content, like I use muse.ai uh, for my self-hosting platform and I don't have anything behind a paywall yet because I'm not creating that kind of, I'm not creating the premium content that I wanna charge for yet. I do charge for my services and other things, but because I have a version of Media Company in a Box, which is my creation, my website, my platform is like, I have the free value that I give out with the content, but then I have my other services that I offer. And that's so I can use my content as a way of providing value to bring in business. And that's worked for me. Well, now there's merchandise, there's books, there's other things that I have. You can sell that too. But the self-hosting platforms, one of the things that you can do is I could put like this, I could put this video behind a paywall, which would make no sense to do in my opinion, but I could do that. Or I'm doing an interview with, you know, some, it doesn't matter. Anyone I find interesting, I'm doing this interview. I don't care about celebrity, but I'm doing these, doing an interview and it's a solid interview and I'm going to put it behind a paywall. And whether I charge 99 cents, 50 cents, a, a penny or $10 for the month, an episode, doesn't matter. You can choose and control that and keep your money too, 100% of it. But if I do that, then I can utilize YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Rumble, Odyssey, even Otter AI. I can utilize those for clips and use clips to market to drive traffic back to my website. Because if you're not driving traffic back to your website, which is your digital real estate, which is your digital identity, which you own, if you're not driving traffic back to that, but you're marketing Facebook, you're marketing Instagram, you're marketing YouTube, who are you really working for? If you're promoting YouTube, who are you working for? Why aren't you promoting your website? Only. Only. That's what you own. Now, I personally believe that we should own our name domain. And the reason why is because, well, I, I believe that social credit scoring is going to tie into this. I just, I've always believed that. And uh, so I think that that's one of the reasons, but it's your digital real estate. It's your likeness. It's your name. Hey, how are you? You go out to a bar, you go out to a restaurant, you go to church, you go to the synagogue, you go to a mosque, whatever. Hey, what's up? How are you? What's your name? My name's Joshua T. Berglund. What's up? What happens? They, may, they won't remember my phone number. They won't remember my email address. They'll remember my name. So what do they do? They Google you. At least that's what I do. If I don't see anything... That's complicated. But what's really scary is if I Google you and I don't even see your website, I see social media. That is the absolute opposite of what should happen. Own your name, own your likeness, own your imaging. Your website is the most important, the most important platform you can build, period. Because there's monetization sitting on your website, waiting for you. Whether you identify it or not, I promise you, your website is a gold mine for you. Multiple revenue streams are waiting for you inside of your website every time. And if you need help with that, hit me up because that is what I'm great at, is monetization, distribution. Well, I'm a creative. I'm, I can help you with a lot of things, but 
you can utilize these clips to promote your full content, the, the content that you put a lot of value and time in. It's one of the best ways. Plus, then you can monetize your YouTube shorts and other things like that. You monetize that. There's a little bit of money. But then you monetize the, the big full episodes. And you keep your money because you're promoting your self-hosted website. Have fun. Creating content should be enjoyable. It should. <laughs> it's one of the most beautiful things that we get to do. It is an opportunity. It is a blessing to get to create content. It's a blessing because you can use creating content as therapy. I healed through creating content. I mean, with God's help, but I mean, I, I work through my crap. I didn't trust therapists. Didn't want to go to a therapist. And I'm still complicated and I'm not perfect, but I mean, I've healed and grown through sharing my journey and sharing my truth and making mistakes and making myself look like a psychotic idiot, making myself look like a blasphemous fool, making myself look like <laughs> trying to be like Jesus. I, I, I've made, I, I've made so many mistakes and I regret none of them, none of them because it's been freeing. I'm, I'm not afraid to say anything or talk about anything. And I'm not afraid to tell the truth. It's because of creating content. So ultimately, the best way to create and share content without mon without monetizing is to focus on your... I'm not reading that last part because this is about monetiz monetization. Okay. So there are some free, free uh, options out there for you to create, for you to monetize your content. And merchandise is one of them. And I don't work with Springtree, but Springtree, there's many others like Springtree. And uh, Spring Tea, sorry, Spring Tea. Spring Tea is a great website for you to be able to create merchandise that you can sell and you don't have to pay anything out of pocket, anything at all. And uh, you, now obviously the more you buy, the better your margins are, but Spring Tea is one of the best platforms and you can make custom mugs, custom hats, t-shirts, and so forth. Now, again, if you wanna find uh, alternatives to spring tree, spring tea. I keep saying, well, I don't know why I say spring tree. Um, sounds better to me, but that's not the name, spring tea. But you can look for alternatives to spring tea on Google or your favorite search engine, and it'll show you the options because there's a bunch of new ones. And some of them, I started looking at a couple of the other ones uh, this week because I'm getting ready to create some merch. Although I saw this thing today that I do want to tell you about. Um, because I felt like I'd be doing you a disservice. It's called, um, oh my gosh. Oh, I emailed it to, uh, Jess. It's called circuit cricket cricket. Check this out. So it's a, it's like a screen printer for your home. And you, it's so light and small, you can print glasses and t-shirts and hats and on and on and on. It is wicked cool. I just I was watching Sniper Wolf with my daughter. And yeah, this thing is way cool. You can print anything. You can make stickers. Well, this is probably not the best picture, but it's super small. So this is the bigger one, the Circuit Maker 3 that you can get. It's that big. I just saw this today. It is unbelievable. So worth checking out, but make your own merch. You can make your own merch using things like this. Like this would be, to me, I, I got to talk to the, 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 the better half about this because she is probably going to have all kinds of awesome ideas, but you can create products like this and you can create your own giveaways. So if you don't have a huge budget and you got a live stream, and somebody like this is our my old foundation logo, and I I mean I did I print I did I did this at home, <laughs> I did it with an iron, um, but there's much better technology now. But product give, giveaways that's another thing. Affiliate relationships. Here's the thing about affiliates. Affiliate relationships 
which and look, there's so many now. Like they range from three percent commission to twenty percent commission, sometimes more. And there's some great, great affiliate programs. But one of the best things about an affiliate program is that you can get practice live reading or doing promotional videos or promotional content, not just embedding in the blog or the transcript of your content, but you can create promotional videos, right? And you can talk about all the amazing features of this fantastic water, which is not really water because I've got, I reuse these things all the time. I think there's meth methylene blue in here and some hydration packets, <laughs> but you can practice your live reads. And why that's important is because if you can create content, then you can act, you can do voiceover work, you can model, you can be an extra, you can, you can uh, do voiceover, you can create content for other brands, like on, and, and you can use these videos that you got the free affiliate relationship that you had to pay nothing for. You can use that footage as a reel to promote to other brands, which would hire you to talk about their brand, or you could get paid to do a commercial. How freaking cool is that? How cool is that? And you don't need experience or at least professional experience. I have none. But look at my acting credits. Look at my commercial credits. I'm not bragging. I mean, there's way more people that are way more popular and famous than me, but I don't care. I'm not a professional and I get to do it. I'm shooting another commercial next week. We just did a Best Buy commercial. I mean, I Mills on Wheels. I've done all of these, a Super Bowl commercial. Like I've been able to do all of this amazing stuff and I have no experience other than what I learned doing video. Did, did you see that thumb? How did that happen? Did you guys see that? How did that happen? That <laughs> the thumbs up just, I apologize. I got a little distracted there. But my screen just had a thumb go up, and I don't know how it did that. I didn't do... Is it... <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I was just talking with my hands. Anyway, okay. So all casting, allcasting.com. I don't work for them either. I just use it. And pro great promotional gigs. So you can use affiliate relationships to pr train and practice for acting jobs, commercial gigs, or if you want to start reaching out for sponsors. Hey, I really love your product, uh, Core Water. I don't know who actually makes Core Water. Is it Core? It's water, it's probably poisonous, fake synthetic minerals. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I've created all of these videos. I really love the core brand and I want to pitch. I've created a media kit and I'm going to send it off for potential sponsors, sponsorship packages. And I'm going to approach Core Water and I'll go, hey, I've been an affiliate of you, of yours, and I've made all of these uh, these promotional videos. I, I really love your brand. I'm passionate about your brand. It's the best tasting water. It's not the best tasting water. Um, it's the best tasting water I've ever had. And you know, I would love to have you guys be a partner on the show, talk about you, promote you, do giveaways, whatever you need. And you write that up and you've got a demo footage of you talking about that brand. Well, guess what? They may say no, or you may have just acted as your own casting agent and got yourself a gig. And that happens. You can even do it with smaller local businesses. They like your personality, like the way you talk about um, products. I have some funny videos of me talking about, I tried an eyelash applicator, actually helped create that, but I made videos for it. Um, Shyla Jet, I mean, I, there's been multiple, like even cosmetic and makeup brands and skincare brands. Like there's tons of video out there of me somewhere doing all this stuff. I lost a lot of it when I got deplatformed, but, and this is another reason you self-host is you can keep all that content. You can protect it. But all of those are like, they're not to be overlooked. Now there's banner ads, there's 
you know, there's so many other ways. I've, I've mentioned merchandise. I did to mention self-hosting. I meant creating products. Talked about affiliate relationships. I talked about all casting. This is all ways that you can use your content to bring you in revenue. Pretty simple. Um, gosh, there's more, but I've talked enough today. So you guys should watch more. Uh, you guys should come back. You should check out my other videos. I do tips uh, for broadcasters, podcasters, creators, live streamers, but I also do interviews and I do spoken word. I create a lot of different kinds of content, including uh, write books and make movies. I love my life. I love what I get to do. I love everything I get to do and I get to do what I want. I have the freedom to do that. And that is a blessing. No one tells me what I have to talk about, what I get to talk about. I get to do what I feel led to do. For better or worse, that's what I get to do. And for me, that's life. For me, that's freedom. For me, it gets me excited to get out of bed and create every day. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.